All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining in this afternoon. Today's bite. Uh, we'll go ahead and break the news to everybody. We won't have dust ash tonight. So I made a little call and I got a, a long time, one of the first major guests I would consider on the podcast that we did, Mr. Josh Johnston, uh, up in Oklahoma, fish biologist. And I thought, you know, we had him a couple of months ago and I said, we'd bring him back during the summertime. So graciously enough that Josh was able to come back again tonight and help me out with the show. And man, this is your time to, uh, if you got questions about the biologists uh, of fish and how regulations and all things like that, when it comes to fish, uh, shoot them out tonight. We're going to try to help you out. I know Josh will, but Josh, do a little introduction for yourself there. Yeah, Josh Johnston. Um, I'm here in Northeast Oklahoma. I was a fisheries biologist for Oklahoma for uh, just under under 20 years. Um, and yeah, I've been on here quite a few times. I like to talk crappie. I like to fish. I spend a lot of time still out fishing and figuring these things out and uh, spend a lot of time paying attention to the research. So um, yeah, I can't wait to get you guys' questions tonight. Yeah, yeah. We're going to ask a lot of questions. I always have questions as well. And, you know, I want to go back to some of the basic fundamentals of fish and in the summertime, you know, what kind of, you know, compared to the fish behaviors from the summertime to the wintertime and the metabolism and some of the basics about that fish biology, you can kind of kick off some of that stuff. Yeah, I think uh, summertime is weird because, you know, it's it's hot. And so their metabolism, they're cold-blooded species. So their metabolism is super high. They need to eat a lot. They need to move around a lot. They're active. Uh, they need more calories. But a lot of times us fishermen think that it's not that way because it seems a little harder to catch them. Um, but yeah, we'll probably get into those, those, the reason it is and the, the ways to catch them. But, um, it's just summertime is a, is a great time, uh, to be out fishing for about any species because they are, their metabolism's high. They're feeding a lot more. Like in the winter, you're talking about these fish that feed, you know, maybe they don't even feed every day. Maybe they feed once every few days if they're eating a big meal. Right now they're eating. They're eating all the time. So, um, you know, this time of year, I think you look for bait. You, you make sure you're around bait and you make sure you're around shade and you make sure uh, you're around current if you have it. And those three things come together. I mean, you're going to probably be successful. You know, what would you consider some of the main uh, foliage or, or food for crappie when you come into a big old reservoir system like that what all do they, these fish actually eat day in and day out yeah so i think they they're kind of opportunistic and they eat a bunch of things but for most of for most of us listening tonight are probably in the midwest to the south uh portions of the united states and so it's almost exclusively their number one prey is going to be shad um yeah. if you get north of me it's gizzard shad uh, small gizzard shad and if you get down in the the south from me south you're probably talking more threadfin shed um but you'll have a mayfly hatch or something like that in july you know they'll feed up on those and a lot of guys kind of key into that and they catch them on brown jigs there for a week or two um they'll eat you know any sort of little fish that's swimming around but you've just got so many this time of year where they've got so many opportunities to eat shad, even those gizzard shad eaters, those gizzard shad are spawning, you know, once every two, three weeks, a month, uh, just over the whole summer. So there's food all the time in the size that they need. So in this portion of the country, shad, yeah, that's going to be the number one. Yeah. And, hey, you know, I got a question already. I know we'll get a lot of them tonight as well, but we got James, he's asking, he said, Josh, in a 330-acre lake with 90% of the fish weighing 0.4 and 10% being that 1.8 to 2.5 pound fish, what would you think was going on in a in a, a lake that size with those kind of fish going in? Yeah, so that's a, like, you should, you should, 